I have never given someone twenty dollars so quickly. <laughs> hey, what's up, reefers? We're in Vegas today for Magna. This whole weekend is gonna be. But of course, I got no money, so that's why I'm just going like this. Hopefully, we'll win some this weekend. Let's go. Here we go. Heading into Magna for the very first time. Oh. <laughs> walkthrough of the whole Macna so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Oh. Hello buddy. Hey. How are you? Emily. Thank you camera. Camera party. Woo. Thank you. You're getting out of here. How's it going? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And this is Emily. Yep. Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, hey. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> So Michael's like, mine's right? bigger. <laughs> it's like a competition here. Yo, how's it going, guys? Welcome to another Saturday night live stream because it is actually What's nighttime happening? in the UK, and that's where I'm from. <laughs> We're currently in Magna in Las Vegas. So we'll go around and we'll go and uh, we'll go see everyone. And there's uh, Mr. Scott Anderson right there. Scott Anderson, right there. Another legend, another YouTube legend. How's it going, guys? Oh, I thought you were talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> This is David from Kessel. This is David yes. from Kessel. Oh, we've seen what's that? Actually, come on. We've seen us over at Kessel. Oh, Let's go and see. Yeah. Oh. Alright, so we have Biotas. <laughs> Check out these yellow tang. The 71 days kept your bread. <laughs> see how they're transparent? So they're saying that just throughout the show, they started getting a little more yellow as it goes on, and they're tiny. And they're also some Mandarin. So the Mandarin is available right now um, at like Life Aquaria uh, and some, some local stores, also LG Barn. But the yellow tank seems to be, they'll be available supposedly next year. I'm really looking forward to it. Kept the bread is the future. All right, we're at Golden State Corals. This caught my eyes. Look at this. Even though it's sold already, unfortunately, uh, it's a Whipping Willow Ladder. I've been keeping an eye out for one of these guys and I ran to one of these right here but unfortunately it has been sold but I check out some videos of uh, this coral and the motion the movement yeah, they, just beautiful like, mesmerizing but this is kind of interesting it seems like clownfish does not mind a fake sea anemone they kind of just hide in there as well all right guys we got Mr. Laraka here from Polyp Lab we got a really exciting new product coming out. So, so we've got our new uh, premium glue. Okay, so one of the advantages of the premium glue is you'll be able to use it underwater due to the fact that uh, with the pressure applied to the glue, you'll never have water come back into it. It's a gel glue that will only stick when applied to water. So with oh. a drop of water, then the reaction will happen and within uh, five to 15 seconds, uh, the glue will set. It has an eight hour working time, so you can set it up outside and not touch it for eight hours. And then as soon as there's a drop of water on it, you'll be able to uh, work on this product. The second product is uh, our Coral View lens. Okay, so it's a three piece lens kit and it's been designed to work on almost all the cell phones. Sorry to button, what's the reason of doing cut out versus just having this entire place be hollow? Well, if the whole place would be hollow, then when you're placing it on the phone, you're gonna get refraction and light coming in through the back of the unit, the which then will, it'll compromise the, the effect of the lenses. So once you've selected your lens, then you just, you, you screw it on and attach it onto your iPhone. The macro lens is a 10X macro lens, which is only used as a finishing product and it's optional. With these lenses, there's another advantage to them is that the 15K, the 15K, and the 20K lens can be screwed in together. So if ever you have a very blue tank, like some of the Kessel tanks, uh, it'll work as a 22K filter. Very nice. For $20? It was like this. <laughs> <laughs> I have never given someone $20 so quickly <laughs> in my entire life. It was like, bam! Like, what I was going to do, I was going to say to them, you know, what services do I get for that $20? Oh, <laughs> but, oh but then I thought that might not go down yeah. too well. <laughs> Look 
get this. <laughs> so as you can see, we got this crazy equipment on here, and then Brian's going to talk a little bit about it. Right, so he's currently wearing what I use to dive to 500 feet to find new species of fish. Wow. And he's actually holding my nets, which have <laughs> found many new species of fish. It's incredible. Ooh. And the really cool fish that you got is the Obama fish. Yes. Oh! But I, I do carry like uh, six other tanks, like full size 80, 80 cubic foot tanks. Go, go down with it. Yes. That's my backup. So if this thing fucked up, yeah. I have a backup. Six tanks. At least six. <laughs> Hi, man. I could have you back. Let's see, let's see how I'm doing. He got ignored. He, he needs more attention. <laughs> Guys, check out these long fins. The fins actually uh, doesn't look raggedy. It actually looks quite nice. Uh, there's, there's another one. This is the other long fin. Look at that. Super cool. And we got our buddy Zetlight right here home of the UFO light and the fusion light that I use oh, yeah. and plastic lights. And right there we got Walter working hard demoing all the different units. And I think like the new product they have this year is this light right here. This is 24 inch. And then we got the 48 right here. Check out this magnificent anatomy and Z lights. They were selling it for $70, are you kidding? That's, so that's one of my dream anatomy. Same deal over here. But this one took purple with green tip. Amazing looking. All right guys, check this out. So, LEGO has officially licensed these really cool fish designs. And these are from actual LEGO pieces and they have uh, many different types. All right, so I'm at Innovator Marine booth for here. I love the products. Everything's really well thought out. I got Brian here to kind of help demo a few products. This is our Tato Max. This is what we use in the back of our AIO tanks. This actually comes with a two-sided Velcro tape you can stick on here. Our back, uh, our back of our tanks are black vinyl stickers. So you just use a razor blade or ruler and just cut these out. You have an opening here. You use the vinyl, uh, I'm sorry, use the Velcro and you stick it to the back. You grab one of our Tato Max uh, refugiums or custom caddies. You take out the sleeves and the media and you put Tato Morph in here. And then you have an instant refugium. Now what, what's going on over here front? This is our fish guard. Some people like sexy shrimp or they have anemones. They always go through the filter slots and they get stuck in the back or they die and they pollute your tank because they get stuck in your filter. So you just put this little fish guard in here and it keeps them from moving in. Awesome. And there's little things like this I really like. Oh, yeah. Lot, really well thought out. And this camera right here, I tried something similar. Can you tell us a little bit Yes, about this? this is actually the new model. We had originally the white, it's a white body for it, the ghost protein skimmer. This is the new one. Uh, instead of using the standard uh, AC pump, we have a DC pump, which is about half the size of the original one. It also intakes more air than before, so we actually increased the air line. And since that's noisier, because it's taking more air, we actually had to use a double silencer on this thing, which goes into the silencer box that's already built into the body. So it gets pulled down to the bottom, and there's two rubber feet down here, so it keeps any vibration. So your vibration, your micro bubbles, and your sound have been eliminated out of the skimmer. Now let's slide down over here. I see this uh, media reactor right here. Yes. I have this in my tank as well, but you tell, you're telling me that there's a newer version. How yes, this is the new version of the media reactor. Before, when we had the media reactor, you would just turn it, and you'd be able to adjust how much flow you had. And, but the problem is you wouldn't know exactly you know, how much is tumbling inside the reactor. So now, if you look at it, there's a little tab inside here, and there's a little gear on the bottom where you can slide it in. So this way you can tell if you're running no flow or as high as you want. And it doesn't keep turning, it just stops at the end. And as always, it's easy. You just remove this, you know, remove the inner chamber, you pop this off, and you just change your media and you put it back in. There's no hose, no pipes, no pumps, nothing to get loose and leak in your tank. Come here, come here, come this here, is a new thing, return pump. It's an upgraded uh, pump from our regular. This is a DC. This thing does about 538, I believe, gallons an hour. You can adjust the flow rates out of here. You can increase or decrease the flow coming out of here. Okay. And there's a feed mode, but it is something interesting. If you want to look on top right here, where it comes out, if you hold the feed mode down, instead of having a constant uh, flow rate, if you hold it, you'll see it. Yeah, it's kind of adjusting this. Yeah, it, it actually pulses. It's like a oh, sine wave. Oh, no yeah. way. What? Okay, that's 
That's a cool idea. Yeah. So finally you have a wave or a pulse coming out of the tank that you don't need a power head. That is a cool idea. Can you tell, uh, tell us a little bit about the UV light as well? Oh, yes. I that's a... Yes, this is really nice because I remember way back in the days the UV lights, you had to plumb them in with a hose, you got to get the pump, and then when you took it out, you had to make sure you didn't touch the sleeve because then you would crack it from the oils in your hands. So this is actually the protective sleeve. The water actually funnels through the slots right here into the sponge, so you know you still have your mechanical filter, and the UV light just sits inside here. That's it. So when you want to replace it every 10 uh, to 12 months, you just unscrew the quick disconnect, and you just put the new light in there, and you're done. And what's the wattage on the UV lights? The, the wattage on the mid-size are 11 watts, the desktops are 9, and then there's the universal model, which fits into any tank, not just ours, and that runs at 10 watts. Hey. Whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> Not anymore. I don't know. Now we have record. <laughs> search, check out inappropriate way yeah, for that matter. Search. Rico. What's your channel name again? Oh, no good. <laughs> <laughs> hey. uh, <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Then goes underneath the viewing area, up through the biological media, and back into the tank. This is TVO from Reef Nutrition. From the Row and Oyster Feast from Reef Nutrition are also good foods. Frozen baby brine shrimp, uh, frozen rotifers, uh, coral gumbo from Yukari. All those are really good foods. Basically, any food in the three to six hundred micron range that you would feed a coral or a small fish, jellyfish will eat. I see. See, if jellyfish get too much food at one time, they can't. They can't swallow it fast okay. enough. So what will happen is they'll catch it all, but then they'll swath it off. Okay. And so then the food's covered in jellyfish mucus, and it won't stick to any of the jellyfish. Ah, I see. So it can't be eaten at that point. But you don't want it to target feed. Target feeding is a good way to give them too much food. The jellyfish are used to a low density of food all the time, 24-7. But it's never in a really high density. So we can't really put in too high a density at one time. I mean, they'll do the same thing with baby brine shrimp. You put a ton of baby brine shrimp in here at one time, live brine. I mean, even though they're swimming around, if they're feeding and the density of those brine shrimp is too great in the tank, they're going to swap them off. So it's, uh, you kind of want to feed them multiple small feedings per day. All that content of yours. No more selling live rocks? Oh, rocks? Some corals today. Upgraded. Upgraded. <laughs> it's a random flow generator, right? So basically what it's demonstrating is that all the flows is randomly being pushed out from this nozzle. I assume it's this guy right here. Oh, they got some giant version of this. Wait, hold on a second. They got an even bigger one right there. <laughs> oh my god. This is pretty cool. I think um, I've been seeing more and more of these tape roller to replace a uh, flipper sock. So I may try something like this in the 150 gallon tank, um, especially since now I have extended the stand height, so I should have enough room to do one of these uh, roller mats. Uh, what do you guys think? Have you guys had experience with roller mats? All right, what's happening? What, what did you get? Right there. This oh, corals are so, look at that. Is that a head andro? That's huge. Bad bad that? It's the Star Wars. What the? You know, what is that? You know the, I mean, Cena, what the hell is that? What is that? It's, it's almost like beast. Rhinzo. It's wow. It's the UC Pineapple Express frog. Ooh, that's that, I'm getting that. Fire. That's bright. And it's so unique. It's so unique, yeah. You should, you guys I agree. should call yourself unique corals. Very oh, safe. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's a little, bit, he's a little bit more camera shy. Yeah. He, but right now, this is his, his first time on camera. Yes. So go do yeah. your plug-in. Please visit my channel on YouTube. It's called Aquaman's Little Reef. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe, right? <laughs> like, comment, like, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Great. All right, I know what you guys are thinking. Fake corals, but sometimes you do need them, especially if you have a fish-only tank. 
look at these. These inserts a beautiful. These are seriously nice. It's so a nice and compact light, and then also uh, you say they added more more LED for human eyes, yeah, right? Exactly. And also uh, the ramping is smoother, like yeah. it doesn't kind of Very shut good. off. And also, I think uh, in a couple uh, months they will introduce a new um, piece that will just focus a little bit more the light, oh. uh, like a little like a, a puck, okay. and it will just narrow down the, the spread of the light. Cool, uh, Nicholas from Castle. <laughs> hey guys, Neptune always have fantastic booth and this time is no exception. How about this tank? Look at these amazing details. Insane amount of fish, insane amount of coral. It's better for them because they don't even have to all right guys, so Magna 2018 is officially over. As we can see, all the vendors are packing up booth, getting ready to go. It has been a crazy two days. Um, it's actually three days, but I only came for two days. I don't think the last three days is information overload. Now I understand why Mark can keep coming back year after year for 18 years. I'm pretty sure if I'm still in the hobby next year, I will be back. So the unique thing about this show is that this show is a lot more educational. Uh, case in point, we even have some student poster posted up here, actually from uh, Wamas, uh, my local reef club. And there's a lot of speakers, a lot of new product announcements uh, throughout the weekend. The, the only thing is that there's not as many coral vendors compared to other events, for example, like Group Palooza's, uh, other frag swaps uh, locally. So it's more more about like products versus like livestock, which is totally okay. Um, I learned a lot of new things, a lot of new product that's coming out, and I shared with you guys, hopefully you find that interesting as well. Uh, just a really good time to kind of meet a lot of the manufacturer of the product as well, to learn some, something about like what's coming up, what's the concept, why do they certain things, and to put a face to the name. And look at this guy, look at this guy. This is about, all right, what's happening with your event? Oh my gosh, the idea? Can... it's the uh, aquatic, just kidding, it's the aquarium extravaganza. Is it, is it in poor taste for you? <laughs> it's okay. Bro. I don't think so. You know why it's not? Oh, I don't want to put it in whatever yeah, you're sorry. doing. Magna that. Closing, magna closing. Oh, magna closing. I'm sorry. Well, it no, was a okay. blast. Uh, <laughs> we had a good time. Vegas is amazing. Yep. This guy, and is it your wife? What's that? Uh, your girlfriend. Your girlfriend. Yeah. His significant other. Yep. It has been a joy to walk around and see what they're asking. Because they're always asking really good questions. Yeah, just like random question and like just goofing around. They're, like in a, they're appropriate while they're inappropriate. Yep. Hey. See you, brother. See you guys later, take Pleasure. it easy. See you around next time. Hey man, I'm, hey. Oh, I'm doing closing right now. We're just gonna walk. <laughs> so yeah, just like I mentioned, I met a lot of great people. Yo, it's how's it going, chat? Hey, everybody, see, see, you. Chat. see you the next show. Yeah. See ya. But yeah, just meeting a lot of people that I talk to online, you know, in person, um, to interact with other people. For example, like, you know, Nicholas flying from Canada. Yeah, right. Sure. Yep. And then we got like, of course, like a uh, reef dude, also like Michael, Michael Maris Aquarium, uh, Prestige Reef, etc., etc., etc. Just a bunch of people. Yeah, DC Reef. Oh, I see them all the time. <laughs> uh, it's just nice to see all these people. And again, for me, I keep mentioning again, again, a lot of these shows. A lot of these shows is more about people for me. Oh, is there something going on? What? Oh. Hold on. By the way, looks like they're doing a raffle or something like that. I have not been in this room at all this entire day. But right there, the man with the hat, um, he is the president, he's organizer of this whole event. Uh, sadly, I did not get a chance to talk to him, but not on camera anyways. We talked off camera. All right, so Devin, I know that this is your first magnet. What do you think? Heck yeah, I got my loot. I'm excited. <laughs> my loot and my other loot. What's your, I'll say like, what's your top two memories of Magna? My Magna's? top two, I'm meeting you, buddy. Oh, wow. Meeting okay, all you guys. All right, come on, don't give me that. Meeting all you guys. Okay, I talk besides, to so many people that. online, it's awesome to be in person. Okay, that is true. Meeting it people is, in person, It is, so right? much fun. All right, fine. Besides, besides the people, anything stood out? I don't know, it's a whole experience, you know, it's just going to see all the people, checking out, talking to the vendors, getting new products, always sweet deals on new gear, so it's fun, it's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Think you'll be back again? Oh yeah, next year at Disney World? Yep. Oh yeah. Alright.
<laughs> See ya. Yeah. Alright, like I mentioned before, Emily was in the car for the last two and a half hours. Let's see what she's doing. <laughs> so, you've been missing for the last like two or three hours. What happened? No, just an hour. What were you doing? Sleeping? You weren't sleeping? Look at me to go! I was help? sleeping! I was sleeping. I was, I was abandoned like a little puppy. <laughs> <laughs>